And we'll miss them. It's just... It feels like we're leaving our whole life behind us. You know. I know, darling. But Seti, we're going to a new life with new people to meet and new places to see. Try to think about that. I guess. Let's just see what happens, shall we? Good night and God bless. Sweet dream. mind be careful with it Are you going with them i should think i am not having them bullied from pillar to post without a friend am i now <laughs> besides i have a mind for a bit of traveling how's your chance to say goodbye to your friends i'll be right back thanks bye how's it going dick does the stall make a difference you said it it's going great they can sit down now see and i'm charging five cents a time I'm glad. Well, it's my grandfather you've got to thank. No, it ain't. It's you I've got to thank. And I do. But I tell you what, I wish you weren't going, Seti. I do, truly. Ain't never been no one nice to me like you. I wish I was still cleaning shoes in the gutter and you were staying right here. Never mind, Dick. Things will work out. I'll write you. I can't read. Mr. Hobbs will help you. I don't think so. Yes, he will. I'll see to that. Well, bye, Dick. Bye, Sadie. Come on, bye. Thank you, Mr. McNeil. Thank you, sir. Bye, girls. Morning, Mr. Hobbs. Uh, morning. I've come to say goodbye. We're leaving soon. I reckon so. I've brought something for you, Mr. Hobbs. It's a present. There's something written on it. I told the man myself what to say. From his oldest friend, Lord Fauntleroy, to Mr. Hobbs. And inside it reads, when this you see, remember me. I don't want you to forget me. I shan't forget you. And don't you go and forget me when you get among that British aristocracy. I shouldn't forget you, whoever I was among. And I hope you'll come and see us. You wouldn't stay away just because my grandfather's an earl. You wouldn't hold it against him, would you? I'd come to visit you. Mr. Hobbs, would you do something for me? Would you be kind to Dick? Would you let him keep you company once in a while? I know you don't care much for him, but would you do it for me? I will, boy. I, I will. Thank you. Well, I guess this is goodbye. <sighs> and Mr. Hobbs, I won't be a grasping tyrant. At least I'll try not to be. Are you ready, Mrs. Arrow? I may surprise you, Mr. Havisham. But I've been very happy in this little apartment. 
happier, I think, than Lord Dorncourt's been in his castle. Yes, I'm ready. That's it. Mary! Oh, we're all done here. Tell your ma I've gone on ahead to get things sorted. Walk on! See you on board! Mary slept. She'll meet us down there. All right, Sadie, let's get in. City! What is it, Dick? I brought this for you out of the takings. It's a handkerchief. You can wear it when you get among the swells. Oh, it's fine, Dick. Really fine. Thanks a lot. I'm afraid we must be going, my lord. Well, hi, Dick. Bye, Sadie. Drive on. for his lordship. Will there be an answer? Wait here. Will there be any answer, my lord? Sir Thomas, no answer. Lord Fauntleroy is coming home. <laughs> 